You ever had a project around the house that you need to be done, but you had no clue how to do it? Well, that's today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be replacing this hose bib, and I've never done it before. I've only messed with copper pipe once. Hopefully it goes okay. I've watched several YouTube videos, so let's do it, shall we? It all starts by shutting off the water. And this is pretty corroded, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and scrape it. Now, by the looks of this, it's pretty unclear if it's a slip fitting or or what's going on here. So I'm just trying to figure that out by cleaning this up. So it looks like there's a uh, brass fitting that is a uh, male to female connection. So I'm hoping I can just break this free, but I'm not. I'm not too sure about it. So here I got my two wrenches here. Now, if I were just to use one wrench, I would definitely bend this copper tube. And man, that would be a whole set of problems dealing with the tube in the wall. And I've actually done that before in the bathroom. Had to open up a hole and all this crazy stuff. Oh, well, here we go. Here we go, man, this is on there tight. There we go. Didn't even have to get out the blowtorch. All right. Well, looks like it's time to go to the hardware store, our favorite place to go. Hopefully I don't spend too much this time. All right, made it back. Didn't take too long. I actually been up picking up a new hose, one of those collapsible hoses. I like it, try it out. And here's my piece, the replacement. I really didn't expect this project to go so easy. Look, I was ready. I had the, I was gonna get the blowtorch out. I was ready to solder. I got my solder right here. And that really speaks volumes because I had never done this before in my life, but I wasn't scared to jump in and just do it. You know, hopefully I don't speak too soon, but that's all it is. You just gotta do it. Just put yourself out there and do it and you're gonna learn. And that's why I love DIY projects. Well, unfortunately, this does not fit on here. It's some rinky-dink size, I don't even know. So, gotta go make a trip to the store. I'm just gonna put the old one back on because can't have the water off too long. Man, that sucks. Well, I thought I was in the clear. I got too cocky and that's what happens. All right, made it back from the store. I actually went to the plumbing supply store and they seem to have a little bit more stuff. And worst case scenario happened. They told me that this is some sort of special fitting and this is some sort of special coupling that they don't make anymore. And that's just how it goes with this house, I guess. So um, I'm gonna have to do what I thought I didn't have to do and that's gonna be solder. So I'm gonna have to sweat this off and uh, solder a new piece on. So let's do it. Well, I don't even know if I'm gonna post this on YouTube because uh, the water won't stop dripping out so it's not heating up enough. This is just a major fail. I don't even know what to do anymore. This pipe won't stop dripping out so it's making it almost impossible for me to solder. Because water cools it off and you can't, you can't heat it. So I uh, went to the internet and here's my solution. I'm gonna try to stick this bread all the way up in here and hopefully that'll stop the water from dripping enough to sweat off this pipe. Smells like cooked bread. All right, there it is. And there's the water being pushed out. All right, nice. 
I've never done that before. Check it out. Here's the bread. All right, looking good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a coupler right on here. I think I'm going to need a little bit more bread though. All right, that's only the second time I've ever soldered. Uh, probably put too much solder on. <laughs> Obviously, you can see by that drip. Uh, <laughs> but hey, but I can I can verify that the solder has come through this way, so that's great. And I'm just gonna purge the line. All right, now that that's on, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the water. No drips, and with that, the project is complete. Phew, that was a lot more work than expected. But hey, I got to uh, practice a little bit of soldering. Uh, I got to think outside the box. It was just more than uh, you know, unscrewing and screwing back on. And that's just the way it goes with my house. Everything is built cheap, and that's how track homes are. If you made it this far, make sure you give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.